Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we have been helping business owners simplify their accounting systems. So, if you like to support us creating more content frequently, do like and subscribe today. Okay, so with the implementation of e invoice, there are multiple components that we will need to take note of. So, over the next few months, we'll be creating different guides on how you can get your company ready to implement e invoice. So, in today's video, we'll be looking into new changes inside AutoCount. Alright, so the first change that you will note is come to tools here, come here under options here. So you will see there's this new thing called an approved workflow. Alright, so AutoCount actually introduced this function because we have to be very sure when we want to send an e invoice to be validated. Alright, so if you can actually see here, invoice, credit note, debit notes automatically has been ticked already. Alright, so means all these documents needs a level of approval before it actually can be sent out. For the rest of the modules, you can choose whether or not you want it. Okay, so apart from that, also the system has this thing called unapproved documents. So if the document hasn't been approved after 10 days, what happens is it will be automatically become uh, void or expired. Okay, so once it's done, we have this ready tick, press OK. Then we need to assign particular users which can approve or not approve. So as an admin, if you can see here, I'm an admin, I would have full access and when I create an invoice, let's say I press invoice, select a customer, select the product, okay, say this one is 15. Alright, so at the bottom here, now you can see there's a function called approve, save as draft, approve and preview, and approve and print. Okay, so safe as draft means although I have the approval, the system will not automatically send this for uh, validation. All right, so if I'm very sure, then I will press approve. Okay. All right, so just now what happens is I show you a user with full access. So what happens if I want to set a user where they can't approve a particular invoice, right? So this can be set under here, general maintenance, here under user maintenance. Then let's say example, we take tax, we press edit. And then from here, we press access right. We select invoicing, we select sales, we select under invoice. Okay, and here now you can see there's a function called approve invoice and I actually untick this off already. Okay, so let's say for example, now I will log in as DAX. Okay. So let's say if I create an invoice, I select again the customer name. Select the product, so let's say example I same item and put this as 30. Right? And here now you can see I cannot select as approve. Okay, I can only select as submit for approval. So let's say example I press submit for approval. I click here. When I right click here, the system will show me as this is awaiting approval. Alright? So how can an administrator or how can be a manager uh, approve this particular invoice. All you just need to do is, let's say we log in again. Change back to admin. We come to invoice again, right click here. So let's say for example, this is now showing as awaiting approval. So you can double click it into the system. Here you can see on the left top there is approval. So let's say for example I want to make this as a particular one invoice to be validated. I can come here edit. Sorry, I come back here, here. I must edit first. Edit here and then I press the one consolidated. I can come back to home. I press approve. Okay. So once I press approve. You can see now the status is pending. So if there's no problem, the system will then show as validated. If there's an error, the system will show this as invalid. All right. So this is actually how AutoCamp will cater to the new changes in the e-invoice implementation. Do leave in the comment below if you have other questions or guides you would like us to prepare. All right. Thank you.